have you ever said this to yourself before? That I have never been so determined to win big in all my life journey than now. And still, winning is evading me. Despite all my determination, things are not working out. Do you know the reason why things are not working out? It is because to every big door, there is a small key. It is a small key that opens big doors. When you see a, a truck, a trailer, so to speak, only a small ship is used to unlock this great engine. When you see a big aircraft, it's only some little buttons you press before everything is set in motion. So this evening, we are going to consider keys that are needed to win consistently in life. Today, we are going to consider keys that are needed to win consistently in life. Life is a journey. Life is a battle. Life is a stage. Life is a process. It depends on how you approach it. You understand? When life gives you lemon, you make lemonade out of it. You understand? You make lemonade out of it. So, it depends on how you approach it. So, this, this morning, we are going to consider things to do to make winning in life easier for us. You understand it? We got to know what to do. Not just moving up and down aimlessly do this today, do that tomorrow. No, we have to sit down. What do I want to achieve with my life? Which direction is my life heading? What do I want to become in my life? These are the things that are needed. Once we can do this, it becomes easy for us to win. Okay? So, we will take them step by step, one after the other. I have like 11 solid nugget points that if we follow, our lives will take a different turn. You understand? It takes a different turn for good. So let's start. Let's go there. Before I forget, this is Diamond Hills. We hit the nails on the head. We motivate. We speak the truth irrespective of who's us is God. This is what we are cut out to do and we are going to try our best you understand? We are going to try our best to make the best of these opportunities, to make the best of this platform so that everybody benefit maximally from what we do here. So, the topic again, how to win consistently in life. So, number one, before you even think of anything, before you, can, before you even talk of winning or, or losing, number one, what are you winning at? What are you what are you losing in? What are you doing? What are your plans? What are your purpose? If you don't set a parameter, if you don't set a goal, you don't know maybe you are winning or you are losing. Okay? So number one thing to do to win in life that has been proven, effective, rock solid. Number one, set a goal. Set a goal for yourself. If you set a goal, it is only then you can know maybe you are winning or you are losing. It is only when you set a goal. Okay? It is only when you set a goal you can know either you are winning or losing. And setting a goal, um, there is something in, um, in, in psychology, in industrial relationship that is called SMART. That means in setting a goal, you have to be specific, smart. S starts for specific. Set a specific goal. Oh, in six years' time, I want to be true with medical school. In five years' time, I want to become a chartered accountant. In three years' time, I want to be grounded in this business. Set a specific goal and let your, your goal be measurable. Either you are making progress or you are not making any progress. 
and let this goal be achievable. Let it be something that is, is doable, if grammar will permit me, something that is practicable that you can do. Hmm? That is the smart SMA now. Then let it be realistic. You understand it? Everything is possible to them that believe, but set realistic goals. Not something that is not achievable. Set a goal that is realistic and set a time to it. Give yourself a time, a, a time frame that I want to achieve this purpose. Set a goal. It is only when you set a goal that you can be sure either you are winning or you are losing. You understand it? It's great to have goals to reach for. But if you want to actually achieve them, then go about them the smart way. Go about your goal the smart way. For example, if your goal is to buy a house, make a set of steps and goals that can help you save enough for your down payment by so 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 date. If you gonna learn a new skill, then make a schedule for yourself to practice so 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 hours in a day per week on specific topic so that you can be able to learn that new skill. By so doing, you have a way to measure your progress and document your achievement, either you are making headway or not. These small realistic goals are invaluable for keeping you motivated. And how will you know when you are winning or you are losing? If you don't know what winning looks like, or what losing looks like. So, set a goal, the smart way, be specific, let your goal be measurable, let your goal be achievable, let your goal be realistic, let your goal be timely. That is number one. And this one drives us to the number two point. Number two is, be ready to learn. Be ready to learn. Because, uh, you cannot be stagnant in life and be expecting progress. A stagnant water will stink. You have to refresh your brain, get new idea, learn something. It is through that you can achieve your goal. You have to learn. Don't be tired of learning, reading an e-book, paper book, electronic stuff you have to learn you have to learn new things when you keep on learning keep on improving yourself go acquire new knowledge in all your getting get understanding when you learn you brush yourself you touch yourself you twist yourself up then progress can not but come progress fly on the wings of knowledge Progress and success flies on the wing of knowledge. When you have knowledge, when you have wisdom, when you are learning every day, learning new things, I can give you this guarantee. Failure will be very far away from you as heaven is far from the hurt. Learn something every day. Never stop learning. Keep on improving on yourself. By so doing, you are knocking the door of progress. You are knocking the door of achievement. That is another key to winning consistent, consistently in life. Learning, 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 learning. Because if you cannot learn, you cannot go. What you don't know is more than you. You can only work with the knowledge that you have. Whether you are honing your skills or diving into a new subject that interests you, you will find that constantly learning new things keeps your mind sharp and your senses agile. People can be absolute masters at their craft, but new techniques, materials, and ideas keep evolving on a daily basis. New materials new things keep evolving on a daily basis when we stop learning we stagnate and worse than that we can get arrogant and stuck on our own ways we can block ourselves when we refuse to learn new things learn from anybody 
Learn from small children. Learn from adults. Learn from old women. Learn at your workplace. Learn on the street. Anywhere you are in the marketplace, whatever you are doing, you are learning. In the forest, go and study the animals. Look at the animals. Study them. See what they do. See what they do. Go and learn. Go and look at the insect. Go and see how they organize themselves. You understand? Go and check it out. Go to the bush. Study the birds. See how they do. Everything they do, that is the reason why they do it. So when we stop learning, we stop growing. When we stop learning, we stop growing. And that is the truth of the matter. Someone might have gained weight and accolades by doing something a particular way for decades. But what if they could do better, more easily, by changing one little technique? Learning new things give you the opportunity to create fresh new pathway in your brain. It keeps you fresh. A man of knowledge, knowledge make the face of man to shine. When you have knowledge, your face will shine. It will radiate. Okay? So, that is number two point. Number three point, believe in yourself. Because if you do not believe in yourself, nobody will do that for you. If you, the owner of the dream, the owner of the vision, the one that wants to achieve something, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will believe in you. Trust yourself. Know that you have quality. Like I said last time, we are a product of God. And we have some quality of God in us. Believe in yourself, trust in your craft, trust in your power, trust in your God. Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. The path of a righteous man is like a shining light that shineth more and more even unto the perfect day. Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. You have a very big God, trust him. Trust yourself. Believe you can do it. Never doubt yourself. If you doubt, you will not achieve nothing. Have faith. Believe you are not a loser. Believe God is with you. Believe your life could get better. Believe you can become what God says you are. Believe you have a great destiny. That is the part of a winner. That is the part of a winner. Believe in yourself. Believe in your God. Because if you do not believe in yourself, nobody will believe in you. So, number four. Never give up. I did a whole series on this. Never give up on your dream. Never give up, never give up on yourself. Never give up on your God. By trying consistently... With perseverance, you are going to win. You try today, it, 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 it fails to work, do it again. Over and over and over again. Until you become a master. Until you become a master. Like I said before, I said that big shot of today, they were small shots before that kept on, kept on shooting. They refuse to stop shooting. They keep on shooting consistently before they become a big shot. Consistency, perseverance, endurance are one of the keys of winning in life. If you want to win in life, practice consistency, perseverance, determination, ruggedness. Never give up. Why must you give up? Has God given up on you? As long as I have the breath of life in me, I will never withdraw. I keep on fighting. Keep on pressing. Keep on pressing. That is the part of a winner. If you want to win in life, sweatlessly, never give up. Keep on pressing the buttons. Making adjustments. Making adjustments. Learning new things. Keep on going till you achieve your goal. Okay? 
never give up because if you give up the hope that you want to go also will give up on you so never give up so now we move to number five network with others network with others in life a tree does not make a forest there are people that have superior techniques there are people that know things better learn from them work with them eh? you know you, it, it takes two hands to scrub themselves for them to be clean if your two hands are dirty now it's better when you rub the two hands together and put water and soap then the hands get clean two are better than one because they will have a better profit for their effort network with others make synergy never be too arrogant humble yourself acquire knowledge from people try to see how others that are making it are doing it learn from them and improve on even improve on on, on what you've learned from them networking 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 synergy the meaning of synergy is one plus one is two in synergy in mathematics one plus one is two but in synergy one plus one is four because of the advantage that you get from it each other it's like you get double promotion when you interact and interface with others okay so now we move to the number six mentorship if you want to be winning in life if you want your, your your progress to be speedy embrace mentorship what is mentorship mentorship is acknowledgement that somebody is higher than me and this person have gotten what i want to i need to get in life there is no crime there is no need for arrogance bow down stoop low to this person learn from him learn the craft from him by so doing it will make your journey to be faster I don't see anything wrong when you want to uh, to be a boxer, you want to be a successful professional athlete, athlete, you want to be a boxer, you go to people that have achieved before in this field. You go to people like Anthony Joshua, Mike, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Ivan Daoli Feed, Vitaly Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, all those that have achieved success in boxing. Floyd Mayweather, you go to them. Learn from them. Undergo tutelage. When you learn from the achievers, you too, in no time, will become an achiever. That is how it is. You have to learn. If you want to become a successful pastor, you have to undergo training, understudy somebody that, have, that is anointed in the area of calling that you want to go into. Learn. Apprentice, apprenticeship, apprenticeship. It is it, it works magic because what takes them 20 years to learn, you will learn it in six months. Because you have access to you have access to privileged knowledge and wisdom. So undergo mentorship and tutelage. If you want to win in life, it works. If you want to be a successful lawyer, after finishing your law degree in the university, you go to law school to go and learn from um, from lawyers how to how to how to how to become a professional lawyer, an attorney, how to become a barrister. After you have to go to an established chamber and learn from a senior advocate. Learn, 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 so you can now. benefit from their weight of experiences you can now leverage on what they've achieved all their life within six months you are there okay so if you want to win consistently in life embrace mentorship and tutelage it works number 17 you have to do to be a winner in life, to win consistently, is that in life, 
There is no place for lazy people in this life. You do not need to be lazy. You have to embrace diligence. Whatever your hands find doing, do it well. Hmm? Never be lazy, be active, be hardworking, be diligent. Give all your best. Go all out to achieve your goal. A lazy man will say, oh, there is rain, there is too much sun, there is a lion on the road. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of arms, so shall poverty come like a bandit in the night. A little sleep, a little slumber, so shall Poverty come like a bandit, like a robber in the night. In some places in this world, they say there is no food for lazy man. Laziness has no place in the agenda of God because our God is a busy God, is a working God. He listening to the prayers of billions of people every day. He listening to the prayer of billions of people every day. Millions, billions of angels. Are with him he is the commander in chief of the universe if you have that kind of a big god you cannot be lazy nothing can hold me down i got to keep on moving that is the word of a winner if you want to consistently win in life embrace diligence at work smart work work hard work smart work diligently Never take sleeping as a hobby. Sleeping, oversleeping, and progress, they don't work together. Sleeping, lying down on the sofa every day, medusomeness, pettiness, gossip here and there, it doesn't take you nowhere. Sit down and decide this is what I want to do with my life. My God, help me. Help, help those who help themselves. It's an adage. God helps those who help themselves. You can help yourself by embracing hard work. Never be lazy. Never doubt yourself. Never doubt your God. These are the steps of a winner. Be diligent. Give your physical effort, your in intelligence, your spiritual effort. Pray without ceasing. Call on God. Give yourself to it. Go all out. Oh, you will be there in no time. These are the keys to consistently win in life. Diligence. Diligence. Diligence, mental diligence, physical diligence, spiritual diligence. These are the combination of things you need to do if winning is your goal, if achievement in life is your desire. These are the things you got to do. So let's go there. Now we move to number eight. Do what you love and you are passionate about. Do what you love, what you have feeling for, what you are passionate about. Hmm? What you have passion for, that is what you should do. Don't do what you don't like, because if you are doing what you don't like, what you don't have any feeling for, it, it may not work. You understand it? Opportunity favors those who are prepared. Some things come to some people naturally and some things you have to learn it the hard way. Hmm? This follows along with the former guideline I've already I've, I've given. How many people do you know who are slogging through careers and jobs they can't stand so that hopefully one day they can finally retire and then do the things that they enjoy? Life is short. And far too many people spend most of their time enduring existence rather than enjoying it. Life is to be enjoyed, not to be endured. When you make a career out of something you love, 
you pour sincere effort into it because it's actually important to you. I call that a win. Wouldn't you call it a win? When you pour your effort in something that you like, it works naturally. At this time, you may not even need all the other keys when you do what you love. You know, never allow anybody to, do, to discourage you. Do what you love. Do what you believe. It reminds me of my uncle when I was in my primary school. He told me, you go and learn a trade. Now in this country, even if you go to university, there is no job. A lot of thousands of university graduates, they have no job. They have no placement. They are just loafing all, all around. And what he was saying was the truth. That was the truth. But all those things he was telling me to do, I didn't like any of them. What I love is to go to school, to learn, to read, to write, to use my brain. These are the things that I love to do. And I told him, Uncle, yeah, your, your advice is good, but I think I, I differ. I, I, I don't believe you. I have to go to school. He tried many times to discourage me about the futility of acquiring tertiary education. I said, okay, thank you so much. But at the end of the day, I went to school and it pays off. It pays off. Let nobody discourage you. Do what you like. Do what you like. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot be a broadcaster. I don't have a good voice. I don't have nice accent. I cannot speak good English. And so what? Who, who has told you that it is not that your voice that is not good that they want to hear? It is that your voice that is unique. It is that one they want to hear, not the one that is eloquent, orator. The, uh, thousands of orators out there. A lot of broadcasters in, in big five-star broadcasting stations with a cracked voice, but everybody listening to them. Do what you love. It doesn't matter. Speak the way you can speak, act the way you can act, dance the way you can dance, sing the way you can sing. People will listen. Try it and see if it will if if it won't work. It works like wonders. All right. So be diligent. Do what you want to do. Never never allow anybody to discourage you. Do what you love. Do what you have passion for, what you are passionate about. Don't let anybody push you and tell you, you know, you, you cannot do it. You don't have a good voice. You don't have anything. They are not your God. Your God that created you knows what you are good at and he knows you can do all things through him. Just network with him. You will see how speedy your achievement will come. In, in, in what speed? <laughs> speed of light for crying out loud okay let's go there once again this diamond is we are considering how to win consistently in life what you need to do keys that you need to have to open the door of progress I told you every time here I told you last time I've been telling you I tell you every time it is small keys that open great doors. The small door that you open will lead to greater door like that, like that. The path of a righteous man is like a shining light that shineth more and more, even unto the day of perfection. That is how it is. All right. The number 19 you have to do. Number nine key. You know, we've considered number one to eight now. So the number nine one, the ninth one, step outside of your comfort zone. Step outside of your comfort zone. If it means you will need to migrate from one place to the other to achieve your dreams and goal, why not? If you need to move from under, from where you are to another place, I know, I said it last time, that success is a universal citizen, but some things could be done 
faster in the, in one place, better than the other one. That is why you see all the sport, sport uh, all, all, all the sportmen, they move from their country to another country where that sport is being practiced. You understand? I can mention like twenty heavyweight champion of the world that have to migrate from their country of birth to another place. Footballer, doctors, a lot of guys. You, you know, step outside of your comfort zone. Step outside of your comfort zone. Location is everything. I don't know, maybe you've heard this before. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. It may sound a bit crude, but it's actually very true. Comfort zones are salty and coarsey, but they can also allow us to stagnate and grow complacent. If you stay in your comfort zone, it may lead to stagnation and complacency. People need new situations to challenge them to challenge them because it's only through overcoming challenges that we can really grow. If you ever tended a garden, you know that plants need a bit of stress in order to truly thrive. Too much stress will harm or even kill them, just like human beings, but just a little bit, just enough, encourages stronger growth and more abundant yields. If you find out that you have an opportunity to grow, learn, or explore something new, but you are afraid to try it because it's different or scary, <laughs> then you have to sit down and ask yourself, do you want to make progress in life? Or you want to end your journey at that place where you are now? You will undoubtedly learn a lot by trying. And at least you won't spend the rest of your life wondering what would have happened if you've taken the chance. Think of life as a raffle. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Like I said last time, if you don't attempt, you have no chance of winning or losing. It is only when you attempt something that you stand the chance of either winning or losing. Step out of your comfort zone. You could be brushed up a bit, you could be shaking a bit, but it doesn't mean anything. If you look at plants in the in, 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 in the in the bush, palm tree for example. When there is a wind, every other trees bow, every one of them bow, every one of them bow, bow down because of the, the bow in the direction of the wind. But at the end of the day, after the end of the wind, their root goes, grows deeper and their leaves get greener because of the storm. If you are afraid of the storm, you cannot become the talk of the town. If you don't take a punch, you can become the heavyweight champion of the world. And if you don't take a shot, you cannot be the best footballer of the year. At times, it's good to face the music. When you face the music, you become the musical director. That is the key of life. If you don't take a punch, you cannot become a boxing champion. So, when the storm comes, it shakes you, rough you up a bit, but at the end of the day, your root grows deeper, your leaf get greener. That is the key. Step outside of your comfort zone. Number 10. Be positive in your thinking. Be positive in your utterances. Be positive in your thinkings. Be positive in your utterances. See a man as he thinketh, as he speaketh, so he is. You can never grow more than what you think and what you speak. 
what you think, your thought process, your speech process, have a way of determining your attitude in life. Speak good, you live good life. Think good, you get good results. So be positive in your thinking, be positive in your utterances. Pro profess good things, confess good things. I said it before, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Very important. Be positive in your thinking, be positive in your utterances. These are the keys that make for speedy progress in life. That is number 10. And now, last but not the least. Before I go to the to the last topic, let me do a, a quick revision. I said number one, set a goal. Be ready to learn. Number two, be ready to learn. Acquire knowledge. Number three, believe in yourself. Number four, never give up. Number five, network with others. Number six, embrace tutelage and mentorship. Number seven, be diligent. Work hard, work smart. Number eight, do what you love and what you have passion for. I mean, what you are passionate about. Number nine, step outside of your comfort zone. Number ten, be positive in your thinking, positive in your utterances. Last but not the least, number eleven, never give room to fear. Never give room to fear. Never give room to fear. Fear kills initiative. Fear kills your faculties. Fear kill your thought process. The ratios are as bold as lions. He has not given us the spirit of timidity, but spirit of love, power, and of sound mind. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? Give no room to fear. If you are afraid, you can never achieve anything in life. Fear and success, they don't work together. Because fear is a killer of ideas. And fear of torment. Fear is a tormentor. Therefore, if success is one of the things you want to achieve in your life, you should say bye-bye, sin or die, to fear. Why should you be afraid? The Lord is your light and is your salvation. Of whom shall you be afraid? Never be afraid to try. Never be afraid to try new things. Never be afraid. If you want to become anything in life, give it a try. If you fail, fine. You go again. Doesn't matter. You can try it five, six, seven times. There is no crime in trying. I know of a lot of heavyweight boxers. They they want to become heavyweight champion of the world. They want to get a belt. They've attempted it, heavyweight championship, a lot of times they either get knocked out, either they lose on point or technical decision, technical knockout or outright knockout. But they, they, that doesn't stop them from, from becoming, from continuing as an heavyweight boxer, as a contender. But at the end of the day, one day they will land that killer punch that will crown them as the heavyweight champion of the world. I know a lot of them like that. Some people have told them, I give it up, you've taken too much punches, this, that. At the end of the day, they landed that fight that announced them to the world. Many of them even become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Success in life does not respect size. It is not the size of the man in that fight but the size of the fight in that man. So, say bye-bye to fear. Fuck fear if you want to reign in life. He has given us the key. He has given us a tongue. He has given us a power. We have two eyes, one big head, 
to hear, to hear, to see, to speak, ah, nothing is stopping anyone that is bold. The righteous are as bold as lion. When you are bold, your boldness alone is enough to make a way for you. David decided to exercise boldness in the face of Goliath. At the end of the day, he won. Moses decided to exercise boldness in the face of Pharaoh and all his chariots. At the end of the day, he won. Nothing permanent could be achieved in this life when fear rules your heart. Say fear, I conquer you today. In the name that is above every other name. Then fear will flee from the window. And you will be able to become who God has destined you to be. This is where I'm going to stop it today. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bells. Drop your comments. Like the upload. By so doing... You will be the first to see whatever I put up next time. Till I come your way next time. This is Diamond Hills. Have a nice day. Bye.